So this is a Dutch hookbill duck. Right now they look a lot like any other little yellow duck. You go ahead and get the others up here, one at a time please. We were fortunate enough to get some eggs from one of the best breeders in the country who just happens to live about an hour away. And we hatched out four beautiful baby ducks in our incubators. And we are just so happy and so wonderfully pleased with them. Now, all four of these came from the same breeding trio, one male and two females. And we had four babies hatch out. Now, I'm not sure if you can tell, this one has a yellow beak, bill. These others have pink bills. Can you see the difference? I can. The Dutch standard of perfection, the way that the, these birds are supposed to be for the solid white hookbill ducks, they are supposed to have the pink bills like this and not the yellow. This is just a throwback from where these birds were almost extinct. There were only 15 left in the whole entire world that could be found. And they were so horribly, terribly inbred that to save this breed from going extinct, they had to be crossed out to other breeds of ducks. And so Welsh Harlequins were used and Campbell Ducks were used and Indian Runners were used. That's why sometimes these look like they're standing up really way too tall. There's some Indian Runner Duck in their background. But they are three or four generations now of just hook bill to hook bill pairing. And you ask, what is a hook bill? Well, at one time, way back when scientific classification first started in Europe, these were classified as their own species along with mallards and other species of ducks because they were just so weird and different and people thought they were their own species. And they were just kind of ubiquitous in parts of Europe. These were the the ducks that people kept on their farms. And it wasn't until later that it was realized that these were a domesticated breed of the common wild mallard. And so they're no longer classified as their own species. They are a a breed, a domestic form of mallard, just like the white pickens or the khaki campbells or the Indian runners. And those we, we have pet parrots in the house. There's going to be noises in our videos. But they come in other colors as well. The, the Dutch standard says that they can come in dusky or blue dusky or dusky bibbed which is a brown color with white patch on their front or a blue dusky bib so there's five colors classically but nowadays we we have them in all different kinds of colors because they were crossed out to other breeds to preserve them and to increase fertility now if you look this one's name is jack he was the first one to hatch out he is the largest of all I'm not for 100%. Uh, I don't know. They, they have pooped on the table and they're playing with it. How gross, gross, gross. If you ever heard that ducks are gross, it's, it's kind of true. Let's see. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop, stop, stop. Okay. Let's look at this one. Do you see that beak? It is longer and wider and broader than a normal duck's beak say like a Welsh Harlequin or a, an Apple Yard or a Khaki Campbell or an Indian Runner and as he grows this 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 I say beak because I'm dealing with parrots bill the bill on the duck is going to elongate and start to curve down their heads are, are just a little bit different now it is said that they make better foragers because of this curved bill, kind of like wading birds on a shoreline that have curved bills that are able to dig underneath rocks and things of that nature. 
or flamingos sieving uh. shrimps out of water because their <laughs> their their bills are uh. are that that weird shape. Well, they come in three different bill shapes. Normal is just like a normal regular duck, and then you have if they have a single copy of the dominant gene that causes the hook bill, then they're just a hook bill. If they have two copies of the hook bill gene, then they're called an extreme. And again, it is a dominant gene at work that causes this mutation. And I'm, I'm hoping that this one will have the, the, the two two genes, the two copies of the gene, so that, that we'll have at least one extreme. I'd like to be able to show the differences, but I think, oh look, I got all my ducks in a row. Can you believe I, I got <laughs> no. my ducks in a row? It didn't last very long, no. did it? Oh, quit, 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 quit. Y'all so gross. Stop. You aren't hungry. You have food in your brooder. Oh, I just love them. I just love them to bits and pieces. Just look how cute they are. Oh my gosh, I just love them. Look at that. Look at that, you little squirt head.